So, what do we use first? Paprika, maybe? And then we use Junkie's race car second. And then the Phoenix third. Wrap car seems so inconsistent, it might be best to get rid of it first. But it might also be better to just not use it at all. That's what I'm thinking. I don't have to use all of the cars. I only have to do five races and there's six cars. So I feel like if I want to get any of the cars out of the way, aside from the Voodoo that I don't plan to use at all, this one would make sense. Hey, Hacky, thanks for the good luck. Okay. So this is bulletproof, but the... I don't like that it's saying it's bulletproof, because it makes me feel like I'm going to get shot to shit later. And maybe not having this bulletproof car might screw me. I don't know. But there's no way to know. Absolutely no way to know. This is my second attempt at this mission. I just failed it for the first time. I mean, if no cop cars are going to spawn, then I'll take it. The one time that a glitch happens in my favor. I'm not going to say no to that. Well, the thing is, Glenbo, is I, I probably plan to use that car for one of the last ones. Because, yeah, getting cops is annoying, but it's not nearly as annoying as, like, having your tires popped in the rain or any of that shit, you know? Like, getting the cops on you is probably, like, the least bad thing that happens out of all of these cars. Like, having no brakes is so much worse, in my opinion. You can't choose the race, John. You have to do them in order. The only thing you can choose is the car. The races just go sequentially. You have to do them all in the same order. But that car that I just used honestly seemed fine. Like, I even got shot a little bit. Well, bulletproof, so shot doesn't matter, but... Yeah, like, I don't know if that was a waste of that car. I have no idea. I might have wasted it. We'll see. But yeah, like, this... Being in rain is not ideal, but honestly, the Landstalker drives like shit anyway. Rain isn't going to make it that much worse. No, the rain isn't tied to that car. The rain is tied to the race. On the second race, you get rain. On the third one, the game speeds up. I don't know what happens on four and five because I haven't beaten three yet. Yo, Dean, you mi you've missed some good memes. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Do we go Phoenix now? I guess so, right? With the input delay, though, is that a good idea? I mean... Let's go for it. Surely I can still beat him in a fucking baggage handler. Surely. Oh, God. Gonna have to get used to this. Just gonna go nice and steady. Nice and easy does it. Other players like the Comet, but I personally hate its gimmick. That's the one with no brakes, right? Is it just as simple as the brakes don't work? Is that it? I mean, I can understand that why that would be annoying. But I'll probably use that one on the last one, because I think I'll be okay even with no brakes. I deliberately triggered that uh, cop trap, by the way, because it only it only happens once per game session. So I figured if I'm going to trigger it, I might as well trigger it now in an earlier race rather than potentially trigger it later and screw myself in a much more difficult environment. The getting stuck potentially is high with no brakes. Well, no. It depends if you can't reverse as well, but... Like, it doesn't, it doesn't say that you can't reverse. Just not being able to brake is fine. You just hit a wall and, like, turn away. But, I don't know. You can't choose something to be collision-proof, Mr. Roboto. That's not how it works. There is one car that's collision-proof. You can't transfer its properties onto another car. It's not possible. 
Maybe the handbrake works on not, not the regular brakes. Yeah, maybe. So race four, we have to go this, right? Break a leg. And then for the last one, we go Widow Spider because it's a good car. The only thing that makes it is that we get the police angry. But I feel like I don't care. Like this has to be the move. Let's go. Sped up the movement of all tectonic plaques, increasing the frequency of earthquakes. Yeah. So it's not that the brakes don't work, it's that if you press the button, you die instantly. That is so fair. Making me go through four fucking races just to insta-kill me because the game didn't tell me I would instantly die if I pressed it. <laughs> Unbelievable. It, it is clearly written and described as you can't use it. Like, you can't use the brakes. But of course, it leaves out that you're going to instantly die if you press the button. Because the thought of fucking giving the player any chance to react to insta-kill mechanics? No, absolutely not. What a joke. <sighs> well, that's going to be difficult because... Like... I'm so ingrained in pressing fucking brake and handbrake. Going that car first? Why would I do that? <laughs> like, oh my god. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? All that that ha does is make it so all the other races are more difficult by having to use more shit cars. Like, the obvious logical thing to do is to just do the same thing again, but not fucking press the brake. Even better, I'll give you an even better strategy. Rebind the key so that if you press S or space out of muscle memory, you don't blow up. There's a much better idea than doing the entire thing in a more difficult way just to fucking change one thing. Like, why would I do that? Like, I, I don't understand the fucking mentality of like, oh, let's make the 99% more difficult just to accommodate for the 1% of scenarios. Okay. Paprika. Let's go. Let's do it. In before mod hard coded S and space as blow ups. Well, if they did, that would be super interesting. Because. Then, if you use shift to handbrake, let's say, then you would just be, like, entirely fine and the gimmick wouldn't work. I can only assume, based on the other parts of the mod that I looked at that it will be set. So when you press your brake button or your handbrake button, regardless of what that button is, then it will blow up. So if I rebind my keys to something that I never press, let's say, I don't know, F4 and F5, then I'm good. Because then the only difference is, is that when I press S in space, nothing happens because they're not bound to anything. Also, you can't stop pressing the accelerator. You also blow up. Oh, God. Okay, well, that fucking complicates things then. Maybe I should use this then and, yeah, use the comet first. If you let go of the accelerator, you die is quite a fucking harsh one as well. Because the only way that I would be able to realistically beat the course while holding W the entire time is by using the brakes. Because how do you even turn a corner if you can't let go of W and you can't brake? Your only choice would be to ram into a wall and hope that you don't flip. Because, yeah, you're collision-proof, but if you hit something and flip, then you're just fucked. You die anyway. You're not flip-proof.
I, I think I might just have to do some comet runs and just like practice it. And use this one later. Because this one just doesn't seem that difficult at all. Let's just give the comet a go. Fuck, I didn't mean to press that. I pressed the wrong fucking button. Well. Guess we're trying it on race three, lol. I'm curious now. So I was holding W, right? Now I paused the game. So now in theory, I'm no longer holding W. Does that mean as soon as I unpause, I'm gonna die? Like, am I just screwed no matter what now? Do I have to rebind before I start that? I don't know. But let, let me see, so... So backwards, I need to unbind this in a car and set this to, I don't know, like, 9 because I'm never going to press 9 yeah, I might have to rebind in the previous race and then handbrake I'm going to rename that to 0 and then we're going to go here, I'm going to hold W and click no, I'm just dead instantly Lost. so if you if you just if you even think about pausing the game, it's over. Cool. Time to do all of that again. Aren't you really excited, everyone? I sure am. Let's just go Comet to start off with. Because if we can just get it out of the way, then we're good. I think. I should have set my binds at the start. But let's just go. Let's just go. Just hold W. Don't let go. How hard can it be? Like, I have so much time. As long as I don't flip, I can drive around in circles if I need to. I'm gonna fucking smoke Hillary. I've just gotta not let go of W on any circumstance. Even if it means doing this, just keep going. Hit walls to slow down, who cares? Just gotta hit the turns, that's all that matters. Good. That was not great, but I got away with it. This turn is gonna be really fucking hard. I'm gonna hit this to slow down intentionally. No, fuck! I pressed the button. This is what I mean. It's just pure muscle memory to hit it. I saw that I was going to miss the thing, and I just pressed it. I can't stop myself doing that. I can't help it. I need to rebind them. Because if I'd have not had it bound, then I would have been fine. Fuck's sake. Okay, go again. So now if I press space, I'm good. So now I just don't let go of W. I, I can hit space if I want, it just doesn't do anything. Maybe hitting the car in hindsight wasn't the best idea, because even though it slows me down, it messes up my direction. Which is more of an issue than slowing down. I need to use the walls to turn me more than anything. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad, in fact. Okay, that works. I got lucky with that bounce. I'll take it. 
And of course, that guy's fucking blocking me. And now I, I can't turn around, I don't think, now. Yeah. That's such fucking bullshit, man. Why is there random traffic exactly blocking where I need to go? Just pure luck. That was not ideal, but I got away with it. That is such a sketchy turn. Because if I go over that little green ledge, I'm just fucked, I think. I don't know if I can get away with it. Oh, fuck's sake. The lamppost is so annoying as well, because it has completely spin you the opposite fucking way. Well, look how easy that turn is when I don't get fucking blocked. This is the one that's going to concern me. Oh, that's really good, though. That's really, really good. Getting slowed down there. I don't know if that's consistent, but that's great. That's like a saving grace of that corner. Because otherwise I'm just going to like go into the ocean. Like, how, how do I deal with that otherwise? This is also a risky as fuck turn as well. Oh, the cops, though. The cops helped me. Holy shit. That's brilliant. I'm not even trying to calculate this, but it looks like I planned this to a T, but I really haven't. But that's huge. Not consistent at all, but if I can get away with that. Oh my god, I'm smurfing right now. Getting stuck on lampposts to slow down is huge as well. That is, that is big. I, I got really lucky there. Holy fuck. I'm still holding W, by the way, just in case. Okay. Okay. I need to I need to go to the bathroom again. And then and then we're gonna go, be, be right back. This is the run. This is the fucking run, dude. Woo. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I will rebuy my keys, don't worry. Okay, what what car next? What's the second worst one? Did we decide on? Paprika, right? Hey, King Eddie. Landstalker or Paprika? My concern is that, like, the Landstalker, I know I can do on, on the second race, and the third race won't make it that much more difficult. But I'm concerned about Paprika. Now we'll go Landstalker. I think you're right. I think I'll be okay on race three with the with the with Paprika. I think I'll be okay. And this is just rain. I've done this one before. How long is this whole playthrough so far? Uh, I don't know. 30 hours, maybe? 20, 30 hours? It's, it's been a long one. Okay, next one. Do we go Paprika or do we go Catfish? Like, what... What, what are the earthquakes even? Like, I didn't even get to see them in the fourth race. Like, it says there's more... There's more... There's more earthquakes. What, is, what does that even mean? Like, surely we have to go catfish, right? Camera movement? I feel like going catfish is better. Get out of the way. Now the speed up was part of the different car. I feel like we go catfish. Catfish is harder, I think. Because I think for the earthquakes, I think I'll be fine with the other car. 
Is this soft locked? Yeah, I'm in a menu and I'm waiting to press a button, but yeah, I'm soft locked. Nothing I can do. I, I haven't moved in three seconds, so therefore it must be soft locked, right? Even though we're literally discussing a theory right now. Must be soft locked, obviously. Yeah, we, we go catfish, I think. It has to be catfish. Catfish with the earthquakes is surely more difficult. The shaky camera plus the input delay is surely gonna fuck me up. I'm just really not looking forward to whatever fucking race 5 is. Because I feel like it's just gonna be awful. Because these haven't been so bad so far. And whatever it is, I'm going to have to do it with probably five stars, if not more, because of using the last car. <laughs> plus double speed, plus the earthquakes, like God. Well, that is already happening, Dino. The, the, the effects are just stacking. Like, there is still rain from, from the, the second one into the third one. And there is still double game speed in the fourth one from the third one and the rain from the second. I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure that happens no matter what, the stacking of the effects. Bombs falling from the sky, maybe. The one video I find beating issues frame limiter. Yeah, I mean... I, I've seen quite a few videos of people being missions with, like, heavy exploits and cheats and glitches and stuff. That's... it's not my style. Okay, well, the cop cars are back, so... We... we abused them as much as we could. Yep. Alright, Paprika, but now we have cop cars again, so we might have just fucked it. Let's see. Because if I get screwed like that cop car at that last bit there, I'm gonna blow up, I feel like. It's... I think it's just luck at this point. Let's do it. We just gotta hope we get lucky with spawns. Basically. Yeah, we have cars back. That's really bad. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case, but we do. Okay, we're just gonna take it slow. We we can demolish Hillary, he's so slow. We don't have to go fast at all. No fucking way. Chill. Oh my god. I knew it would come down to the cop cars fucking me. Oh, I missed my turn. This is really bad. This guy's gonna fuck me now. Okay, just go. No. Go, just floor it. Okay. That fucking cop on the bridge. Holy shit. Okay, this is it. Whatever it is. We've got mega police. Just gotta win one more fucking race. Okay. 
This is it. Hillary put a bomb under your car. Oh my fucking god. Collect checkpoints to delay it. Okay. What 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 uh rating do I get? Five stars, I knew it. This with double speed is gonna be fucked, I think. I'm just gonna have to rely on pure luck, I think. To not just get stun locked into next week. Yeah. This just isn't happening, I don't think. They're gonna blow me up. Fuck's sake. But then what car can I even use for this? Because it's just going to be luck no matter what. The only collision proof one is the one that is the Comet, which is just impossible. Oh my god, look at this. Like, if you get this fucked, there's nothing you can do regardless. It's just pure luck, regardless. There's nothing you can do. If you get screwed like that and just stuck in a corner, it's over no matter what happens. I've just got to hope that happens infrequently enough. So I don't crash and set on fire. I've just got to go as fast as possible. But this detonation de detonation isn't even a problem. Like, look, it's not even close to blowing up. It's just the police. How did I miss that? Yep. I can't move now. I'm fucked. Yeah. Literally can't move. Please, if there is a lot above. I'm really surprised that I'm not on fire yet. Like, is this car just secretly collision proof or what? Yep. Yep. Hillary's gonna win, no way. I'm just getting stunlocked into losing. I'm gonna lose. I, I can't do anything with Hillary like this. Yeah, I've just lost. Again, due to complete luck. I told you it would happen. Yeah. Look how close this is. Look at that. Look, I was literally fucking seconds away. No way. Seconds away on the final race. And it's complete luck. Complete fucking luck. Unbelievable. You, you've got to drive for like 20 minutes perfectly just to get lucky at the end, otherwise you fail. <sighs> My fucking God. Like, I just don't get, I just don't get how you can possibly make a mission like this and be like, yeah, ship it. It's ready to go. Like, there's no skill involved in that. I literally got stunlocked into a corner by the police and was unable to move. So, so what is the new order? Is there a better order? I honestly feel like I picked fine. But it's, it's just pure luck with the five stars at the end. I would have been fine if I just didn't get five stars. We have to do Comet first. We just have to. So where, where do we put the other car in? I'm honestly thinking we go Comet first, this second, to get it out of the way on an in an easier race, and get the luck bit out of the way, and then go Landstalker, Catfish, no. Oh, I don't know. Then go Landstalker... Paprika catfish, maybe? No, Paprika has to go at the end, right? Surely. Because Paprika, I need to drive fast anyway. I feel like we have to go Paprika last. Because the only thing that makes Paprika be shit is potentially five stars, which we don't have on the final race. I feel like I'll be fine with Paprika. So we go, we go Comet, Black Widow... Then Landstalker, Catfish, Paprika, I think. I think that's the order. I don't think I can get a better order than that. 
Because this just can't be done in the rain, so this has to go first. I, I, I can't do Black Widow first. The only issue is, is that I fucking, yeah, my binds aren't set for this, so I'm going to blow up. Like, you can't change your key bindings at all in these menus for some stupid reason. The only thing I can think of is maybe if I do this now and then I start holding W, will it let me get away with it? Like, do I only blow up? Do I only blow up once I start holding W and then let go, maybe? Like, maybe I can rebind now and get away with it. It's worth trying. Uh, the voodoo randomly just shoots you forward with, like, a burst of speed. So if you're on a corner, you just, like, hit a wall and flip and die. It's, like, completely unusable in any of the races. Okay, yeah, you can. So we, we can set the binds. We've just got to get very lucky on the first two races. Because this is a lot of luck to not flip or spin off track. And then the second one with five stars is a lot of luck for the police to not fuck you over. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, the voodoo burst of speeds are on a timer. But the point is, is that you're not always going to be able to be in a position where it doesn't screw you over. Like, you're going to have to hit the corners eventually. And there are, like, so many scenarios where you're just dead if it does it at the wrong time. It's impossible to, like, realistically predict it. You could maybe just do it on the first race and hope you get away with it. And then not use, like, Black Widow or the Comet or whatever, but... I don't know. I feel like Comet is way more consistent than using the fucking Voodoo. The Voodoo is just pure crap. But this for me has been like reasonably consistent, like 50% success rate. Just hit the Lampo spend to slow down. Like I'd never thought of that. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's an unfortunate curb. Fuck. I, I even dodged the curb this time and I just went over it again. Fuck. How am I supposed to get over that? How did I do it last time? I legit don't remember what I did last time. Fuck. We need to figure out this, uh, this final corner. Comet. Otherwise I'm gonna be here all fucking night. There must be like a lamppost or something I can hit. Uh, the shooting gallery mission was very epic. I, I would recommend going back and watching it if you missed it. Oh shit. I'm stuck, I think. Yeah. Am I crashing on purpose? Yes, because if I let go of W, this happens. I have to hold W the entire time and I can't break. One thing that I have noticed I can do is I can spin like this to cause myself to basically slow down a bit. Because I, I lose my top speed there. Which will help for corners quite a bit. Okay. Let's try and do this from a different approach. We have so much time. Let's try this. That's so much easier. I should just start doing that. I have so much time to turn around there. That, that is the way to go. Okay. Second one. Widow Spider, right? Because this gives us rain. Yeah. 
Rain is fine with a with a sentinel. 2x speed is where the FBI gets ridiculous. Can set our binds back as well. Let's go. And I will try and remember to shoot the guys if if they come at me. Oh, well, that's a great start. Literally rammed immediately into getting all of my tires puffed. Okay, well, this is over again. And just like that, I've just lost again due to complete bullshit out of my control. Because there's no way I'm doing this with all of these pop tires and the FBI. I'm just fucked. Cool. Hello? I'm not driving for you. No way. What? What happened? I, I did two fucking checkpoints. How did I already lose? <laughs> if Hillary dies, rolls over, or gets stuck, you lose. Ah, yeah, that's my fault. Yep, 100%. So, so Hillary, if he randomly flips at any point during the race, I lose. And we've got to do the whole fucking thing again. Of course. Of fucking course. Of course. Just when you thought this couldn't get more of a joke with randomly failing the mission. All right, time to get lucky with the comment again. Uh, the comment, sorry. And then we're going to get lucky with the fucking Sentinel again. Yeah, reminder, the, the, the mod developer can beat this mission first try every try, very consistent, 100%. Because he's just the best, the, the, the best Vice City player that's ever existed, with perfect hindsight, perfect luck. He's, he's just got it all. He's, he's a true package. He's never had a bad physics bounce, never had the cops screw him over, skill issue. I just realized I didn't set my key binds, so... Let's hope I don't press any... Then again, I haven't been pressing the buttons at all. I'm pretty sure I've, like, taught myself out of it, so... Maybe I don't need to bind anything. I think I'll be alright. If I do, I'll just change him back. It's whatever. The good thing about doing this at the start is that I don't really lose that much if I fuck it up. All right, we go again. Everybody, cross your fingers and your toes. Heads or tails. Lose or win. <laughs> they get out shooting me, bro. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, dude. Was that an invisible spike strip? Again? I legit did not see that spike strip at all. And I, my, all my tires just randomly got popped. Awesome. Well, let's go, Hillary. We're about the same speed now, so this is, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is, this is an even race, I think. Let's go. Sorry, Hillary. I can't help you. Yep. And of course, the police are just fucking rinsing me and will happily leave Hillary alone. Yep. These straights are like my only chance to catch him as well. But I'm just getting fucked. I can't move. Yeah, my car's fucked as well. Yep. Yep. I'm completely boxing, I can't move. <laughs> yep. I failed that mission because I'm bad at the game, remember? If I was the developer, 
I would have passed that mission because he's better than me. So true and so based. The the voodoo is legit unplayable. There's there's no way. I, I refuse to believe that the voodoo is the way to go. All right, give me strength, Chelsea Dagger. Give me strength. Let's go. Bro, we both get stuck on it, really? No! These fucking spike strips are always in the most, like, unwinnable places. I only got my front ones popped, but that's still really bad. But it's winnable. Just makes turning harder. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't like it when they do this, when they have straight up my ass like this, because they can just push me anywhere. All I can do is drive and pray. I'm dead. I can't move. Why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? Holy fuck. I I'm just stuck on nothing. I'm colliding with nothing. Please. Don't you fucking dare. He Hillary's right behind me. Please, one more corner, please. I fucking beg you. I'm dead. Ah, it's over. I can't do anything. He's gonna do me on this straight. Unbelievable. Unless... Nah, this guy's fucked me. No. Fuck! I'm not driving for you, no way. Unfucking believable. All I have to do is not get astronomically unlucky with the fucking bullshit physics. With the cops, and I'll win every single time. But I, I just- I can't stop getting fucking fucked. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Please, God. Okay, fucking hell. This is the- this is the first time I've won with this car, by the way. Okay, what order did we gonna say was good that we were gonna do next? We're leaving- we're leaving Paprika until the end. We do think- we do this next, right? Yeah. Landstalker, Catfish, Paprika. Okay. No more five stars, at least. This is going to be difficult, but not nearly as difficult as five stars. I pause the music so I can concentrate. Don't you just love it when two cops just infinitely stunlock you the whole way through, and they just at no point get stuck? Isn't it just awesome? Thank you, they finally fucking despawned. Oh, and I got this meme again. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit! This is pure bullshit! How does this happen twice? I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't fucking do anything wrong. And the mission just fucking fails for no reason. It's so fucking stupid. Like, what am I supposed to fucking do there? I did everything perfectly. 
I finally get on the fucking run of a lifetime, and the mission just randomly fails for no fucking reason. Like, and, and the developer thinks that this is a finished mod. This is the second fucking mission I've found that I just, I can't beat. I can't do it. I've been at this mission for like two fucking hours now, and every single time I get to a certain point, it just fails. Even though I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm doing exactly what the fucking mission wants me to do. Yeah, like, I swear to God. Rob, you might be able to back me up on this, or someone who's familiar with the game's code. I fucking swear to you, in vanilla, if Hillary gets stuck, he gets teleported. Or whatever, like, he, he, he gets, like, set back on the road. I'm certain of it. The game is smart enough to be like, oh, Hillary is stuck? Put him back on the road, no problem. But this fucking mod got rid of that for some reason, and then it's like, if Hillary gets stuck, just fail the fucking mission. Why? Like, it has to be an intentional thing. There's no way he's that fucking incompetent that he accidentally removed the failsafe. I feel like it has to be a fucking malicious thing. I checked my VOD. I had the same situation. I found the Hillary teleported to a checkpoint. I'm pretty sure I saw that. We can check the fucking footage. Yeah, you see, you see him there, right? Did you guys see that? Like, what even the fuck is even happening? Like, I I'm just driving. Hillary is, like, somewhere behind me. And then, like, look at that. He's just, like, teleporting through the fucking things. Like... That- that has to be something that is, like, intentionally coded in. There's no way the game does that by default. There's absolutely no fucking way. Like, that just has to be a malicious thing, right? Like, I I'm not going nuts. I, I don't understand why. Why does that trigger? Why is that a thing that happens? And why, in a released version of a fucking mod, am I having to deal with this shit? We'll tackle this again over the weekend, and we'll take another look. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all for that. If I don't see you, have a good one. See you later. Yes, hello everyone. I would welcome you all individually, but there's 400 of you, and I can't be bothered. Simple as. One mission to stream again. Hey, yesterday I did like two or three. Actually. Not to, not to flex or anything. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen uh, The Driver, check this, uh, check this epic mission. So, Comet first, break a leg, then Widow Spider, or whatever it's called, second, because it's also a lot of luck involved with having five stars. Then number three was Landstalker. Number four was Catfish. And number five, the hardest race we do in the Fragile car. Because even though the car is fragile, it's like the easiest car to drive. So as long as you don't crash, you're fine. It's the most consistent one. Uh, but yeah, so first one, Comet. Let's go. Oh, Alright. Comet done. One out of the two RNG checks out the way. You can change the car every time you win. Not only can you change the car, but you have to. If you win it, like, so I just won a race with the Comet. I can't use it anymore. You see, it's, it's not there when I cycle through. So you have to use every single car except one. Because there's six cars and five races. So you can skip one car. And I choose to skip the Voodoo because it's terrible. But in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should skip the Black Widow or something. Or Widow Spider. Anyway, let's give it a go. Is it payday? Fucking hell. Yeah, it's... Is it over? Yeah, it's over. See, so there's, there's nothing I can do about that. If they choose to kill me, I'm dead. Nothing I can do. I'm gonna try and switch them around. I'm gonna try and go uh, Widow Spider first. Because it's honestly awful. I feel like Comet in Rain might be fine. Like, I wrote it off instantly before, but it might be okay. We'll go, we'll go Widow Spider first. Because the rain is what keeps getting me killed with the Widow Spider. 
like there when I was sliding along the grass. If it wasn't raining, I would have been able to get away from it. What's my favorite SA radio station? It has to be K Dust. K Dust is so good. All right. Now we've got to do break a leg with rain. Let's see how bad it is. All right, let me concentrate to try and not mess this up. Not ideal. Not ideal. I need to get over there. Let me get over. No. <laughs> Fuck. Go again. Getting on lamp, getting stuck on lampposts like this is actually ideal, by the way. <laughs> I need to go this way. No, I let go. Fuck. Just instinct to let go sometimes. It, the difficult thing is like v fighting the muscle memory as well. We go again, Widow Spider. Honestly, the more I do this, uh, this Widow Spider one, the more tempted I am to just switch to the fucking, what's it called? The v I'm dead, nothing I can do. Like all of that, me failing, was just like completely unwinnable. There was no way I was ever gonna be able to pass that. So it makes me so tempted to just do the fucking voodoo instead. Yeah, the farting car. Because Widow Spider is such a good idea on paper, but it's legit unplayable. Tommy? Oh. It's just pure oh, coin flip. Like, at least with the voodoo, it's actually consistent what it does and when it does it. So, like, maybe I can, you know, get good at using it. Yeah, and if I do it first, the, the rain makes it better. Or the lack of rain will make it way better. Let's try it. Fuck it. You guys all love this car if you haven't seen it before. Yeah, get lucky with the voodoo first and then comment. Yeah, that's the plan. So wait until it hits 12 seconds on the timer. That's the important bit. Check it. That's what it does. So if you're on a corner, you're like fucked. You gotta be very careful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause now. I think this honest, honestly, unironically, might be the move. Like, get to a point where you're on a straight and just wait for it. Like, just wait here. And then let it go. And then just slow down. This honestly might be the move. Yeah, it's like way more consistent than five stars. Look at that. This actually might... This actually is way easier, the more I thought about it. I don't know why I wrote this off so quickly. Like, when I was just randomly driving with it, I was like, this is, like, unplayable. But then... The more I think about it, it really isn't that bad. Yeah, the interval between the farts is 12 seconds. Every single time. Like, just over 12 seconds. So you can predict it. Like, it'll happen, like, any second now. There you go. See? Yeah, this really isn't that bad at all. You just gotta make sure you do, you do the corners in between, basically. Oh no. Whew, okay. That was almost bad. Okay. And now we just get one more on the end. Actually, we might just be able to send us across the finish line, to be honest. Far across the finish line. Go. But that That's way easier. That is way, way easier. Okay, so now we do Comet, right? And then once we get through that, we're good. 
We're just gonna get through the comet. <laughs> okay, now we need to learn how to turn around in rain with this. Like here, maybe? Yeah, that works. That works fine. Because turning around on this corner onto this bridge, you just hit the curb and go over the bridge and drown. It doesn't work. Oh, this also doesn't work, though. Fuck. Uh, hmm, maybe this? Yeah, okay. Now we just need to do another 180 and get to the finish line somewhere. Without flipping. Let me just hit this car. That's huge. Rear-ending vehicles is, like, so risky, but it works so well if you can get away with it. That's huge. Alright, those are the two hardest races out, out the way. Okay, next one. These ones. Landstalker with, uh... Land Stalker with four pop tires in stream. I thought the car was like that. No. The, the, the thing of this car is that all four of its tires eventually burst, as you can see. That's what makes it difficult, because Land Stalker with four pop tires is terrible in rain. It's like almost undrivable. And especially with these cops, I can't do anything. Yeah. Yep. So once again. We get through the two biggest bullshit bits, and then I get bullshitted in the third race by random cops, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, this mission is winning five coin flips in a row. That's the only way to win, is just get lucky five times in a row. If the fart car is easier, not sa why not save it for later? Because it's not easier later. Doing this in rain would be awful, I think. Like, I could maybe do it second, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Ramped off the cop car. Should have braked a bit earlier. Uh, right, I'm going to try and do Mr. Bean on the second one. I'm going to try and do Comet first. We'll, we'll see what it's like. Why not test different ideas, right? I, I think it's going to be terrible on the second race, but why not check? All right, let's go. Let's concentrate. In theory, if I drive well, this shouldn't be any different. Like, as long as I calculate this well, I, I, I just need more time to slow down. That's the only difference. I can just, like, go nice and slow here, wait for the thing. Yeah, all good. Just gotta slow down way earlier to give myself more time to, like, slide. I can get around to this corner. Yep. I'm gonna stop like right here, so then hopefully I don't get messed up by the the cops at the end. Yeah. All good. This one I'm just gonna try and hit the wall. Slow me down. Yeah, that's fine. The bridges is where it's going to be tricky. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Now, I guess we'll even just sit, like, here. Yeah, and then just spin around. And then get across the bridge. And then we're just, we're good, I think. I think this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, that, that's very winnable. Alright, cool. Okay, now I've just got to not get destroyed by the other uh, things again. By the cops. Because this one is not easy by any means. Yeah, I think I've lost. Damn, this just doesn't work. It's so fucked. I never had an issue with it before, and now it just doesn't work at all. I'm not driving for you, no way. With 2x speed, it just does not work. Time to switch to Sentinel, like... It just... Landstalker just doesn't work on race 3. It's just not good enough. It was close though, yeah, but I've... I'm 0 for 3 with the Landstalker. Every time I've gotten here, I've lost. Every single time. What about the car with input lag? But then that would just make me have to use the Landstalker even in an even more difficult race. I need to use the Landstalker earlier, not later.
Yeah, I, I, I guess two times speed fart mode is like the only way. Yeah. Comet with double speed and rain is not happening. That's that's ridiculous. I think the way to go is Comet, Landstalker, Voodoo. I think. Like, it's hard to remember what I've tried and what I haven't and what success I've had because I'm like three hours into this fucking mission now. <laughs> like... I've done so many different, you know, variations. I've done this race like a hundred times. Try Land Stalker on race two. Yeah, look how much easier this was without the double game speed. I don't know why double game speed makes it so much harder. Unless Hillary is actually faster every single race. Because I feel like I drove at like the same level that time. But I lost. Like, I got a 243 there. Does anyone remember what time I got last time when I failed? I swear it wasn't that much slower. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Right. Let's go. Car gassy. Every six seconds. Well, still every 12, but the timer goes twice as fast. Yep. Right. Yes. We're good. The gimmick of the last race is, there a, is a, there's a bomb planted underneath your car, and if you don't collect the checkpoints fast enough, it blows up. But I think it's bugged. I think it doesn't work. At least from what we established last time. Okay, catfish, then paprika. That's the way to do it. Catfish is just input delay. Really bad input delay. But I've used this before on race four, and I've been fine. I'm going to pause the music to... Try hard a little bit. <sighs> okay. Final race. Remember at any point this mission can just randomly fail. I've been to the final race before and I failed. Paprika. The only difference here is that this car is very fragile. So I just need to not ram into shit and I need to not get screwed by the cops. This is what it all comes down to. Not getting screwed by the cops. Because if they hit me hard, I'm dead. Let's go. And yeah, pray that Hillary doesn't get stuck somewhere. So yeah, Hillary put a bomb under your car, collect checkpoints to delay it. But if you have a look, I don't even think it really works. Because you see now it's just not going down at all. Move! Unless it's just really lenient, but it just doesn't go down. All right, let me concentrate. Because I've got a lot of cops on me. So I've got to be very careful. Because these cops at any point can just kill me and there's nothing I can do. Yep. Yep. And they fucking shoot my tire. Incredible. Bulletproof car, but not tire pop proof. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm fucked here. That... Yep. Nothing I can do. <laughs> that entire time through that last race with the input delay, I had like no cops. And then in the last race, every single corner has a cop. Ram, 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 ram. Nothing I can do about it. It's just a coin flip. I won four coin flips in a row. Didn't win five. Gotta do the whole thing again. Crazy. This mod's finished, by the way. It's really fun and really hard. I lost that race because I'm a bad player. That's such a shame as well, because on that race, I've done that race so many times with that car. Well, I've used that car in different races, and I've never had my fucking tire popped. And of course, the one time it's on the last race, they fucking pop my tire. It's such bullshit. You can't stop in the last race? Well, that's the thing. I don't know. Like, you're not supposed to be able to because of the detonation thing. But if you saw it, it just doesn't go down. So I'm, I don't know if it's bugged or what, but I'm not going to go all the way to the last race just to assume that it's bugged and then die. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree with what Flippy said. I think my strategy is fine. I think I just got unlucky with the cops. Like, 
I, I don't think there's much point in trying to change the strategy. I think the way we're doing it now is fine. Bro, you got to have 100% concentration to even stand a chance at winning this. I love how at the end of the race it says you were just lucky. It's like, well, yeah, how, how else How else do you think I even got past, like, the second mission, man? How do, how do you think I'm here? All right. This one I need to concentrate even more. Wait, what? Oh, right. I, I'm so stupid. I saw six seconds on the timer and I was like, oh, I need to stop, but I don't. It's 12 on the timer, Ben, you fucking idiot. That was stupid of me, I'm sorry. Well, this has kind of messed up my flow now. Let me try and get back into it. I love how the timer gets like more and more desynced over time as well. Like now it won't be exactly on 12. It's like slightly after, look, it's on like 15. Because, like, it's not 12 seconds, it's, like, 12 and a half. And then over time, it just gets, like, more and more, like, desynced. Like, by the three-minute mark, it's, like, every 12 seconds. So it's, like, 3.17 and a half and whatever else. It's it's weird. You just gotta kind of do it on feeling. Like, oh, yeah, it's gonna fart around now-ish. The strat for voodoo is just this. Every time you know it's gonna fart... You just chill and wait for it to do it on a straight line so you don't, like, you know, smack into something, basically. And then when you're going across the bridges, you do it in between the farts. And you're just going to make sure you go slow. It's basically all there is to it. Like, here, I want to go around this corner. Then I need to turn, but I can't do it when I'm farting, so I'm just going to slow myself down. Then go across... And then fart now on the straight. Should we the peak of VC modding waiting for a fart to happen? Yeah. Indeed. Alright. We're on race four. Four out of five. This is the hard one, too. This is probably the hardest one. Because this is like legitimate skill. Compared to like just luck. And the fucking random traffic makes it so annoying. Because ducking and weaving in through traffic is so hard with this fucking input delay. Alright. Final race again. It's, again, just purely up to the cops. I will drive the best I can. It's purely up to the cops. So far, so good. Look at how different this race has been so far. Look at how difficult it was last time and how easy it's been so far. Like, the difference. And I'm driving the exact same. But just, I didn't get any bullshit cop spawns. So I'm good. But that can change at any second. All it takes is one car to spawn and fuck me over. Let's go. Let's get some real fucking speed going. Try and despawn these guys, which I did, which is really good. Try and dodge the spawn. Nice. I'm, I'm driving optimally here. I can't do any better than this, really. This is a really fucking good drive. It's not ideal, because now I can't despawn this guy. Never mind, I did somehow. Please, Lord. Fuck you. 
That was a really bad crash. No, don't do this to me now. Please just let me end. Let, let me finish, please. <sighs> you just defeat. I didn't see what that said. You just defeated the god of two universes or something? Let's go. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please tr treat me bad. Why? Why? C Congratulations, Ben, on beating this mission. I'm gonna blow your ears out <laughs> for no fucking reason. Just, just gonna blow your ears out because it's, it's really funny, I guess. Like, ugh, fucking hell, man. We're done, finally. Over three hours that mission took. Fucking hell. Right, job time. Let's go. If I first try this and I'm done with the Malibu Club, I'll be over the fucking moon.